it's Andrea. I'm back with another cook with me. This is from Hungry Root. My products are, I'm going to have a link I'll put down below um, that'll save you $50 off your first Hungry Root order. It's a fabulous, fabulous grocery or meal delivery service. Up in the corner, sometime in this video, you'll see a little link pop up. That'll be the unboxing I last did for Hungry Root. That'll tell you a lot more about it and show you everything I got. Today I'm making up a quick lunch of um, tuna fish salad made with this safe catch ahi wild yellowfin tuna and avocado oil. Every tuna mercury tested. Safe catch. Yes. So, first thing we do, I boiled me some eggs earlier because I like eggs in my tuna fish salad. So, first things first, let's cut these up. Let's cut these guys up. I'm just using the <laughs> plate that I plan to eat my lunch off of. And these are, one of these is one of my mom's chicken's eggs and one's a store-bought egg. You can kind of tell one's darker yolk than the other. Okay. Put the egg in now. I'm gonna go drain this avocado oil off my tuna, BRB. Okay. I like using a nice quality tuna when I make my tuna fish sandwiches. It really does make a big difference in flavor. sweet pickles to it because I'll put it on my sandwich because um, I don't think Sam really cares for that so I just add them separately. Got some Duke's mayo here. It's almost gone. Let's see if I can get a little bit more out of it. Get the last dregs. <laughs> I think that's going to be about all she wrote. What y'all's go-to mayo? Mine obviously is Duke's. People are usually pretty religious in their mayo choices. I just eyeball this. Let me add some salt and pepper. salts in the other room. Okay. Sometimes I add a little vinegar to this too. Let me add a little bit of I do this with my deviled eggs as well. Add a little bit of vinegar. And that's about all I put in my tuna fish salad. It's very simple. Um, you can add whatever you want, whatever you like, of course. Some people like celery, but not me, or onion. Mm, no, thank you. I keep mine very basic. It's ready to, ready to sandwich up. Next up, I've got my bread. I'm using Wonder Bread. I'm pretty picky about my white bread. 
too. Sometimes I get Wonder, sometimes it has my stuff, and sometimes I get Bunny. That's a good one. I'll get the same brand until I get a stale one of them. It make me mad and I'll switch to another one. Fresh, soft, white bread is very important to me. Stella won't eat these tuna fish sandwiches, but Sam loves them, and so do I. So, I'll make him one as well if he wants it. There's enough for at least one more sandwich, I'd say. Generous, a generous amount for a second sandwich. Bread and butter. Pickles. Ooh, wait, y'all hear that thunder? Oh, I love thunderstorms. Cause I love a rainy night. Oh, that's it for that sandwich. Yes, y'all. And from um, Hungry as well, I've got this um, guacamole. I know it's kind of an odd combo. <laughs> Tuna fish sandwich and some guacamole, but I do what I want. You're not the boss of me. And I'm also going to serve some Hungry Root red grapes with my sandwich. Yes, honey. Yum. I'm gonna go um, set this up at the table and we'll do us a little taste test. All right, got my little lunch plate set up. For the chips I've got on the border, I like a thicker tortilla chip, especially with dip. But even if I wasn't using dip, I'd like a thicker chip. Let's try out this guacamole. Mmm. No, oh, that's delicious. And yep, I'm, I'm double dipping because it's my dip, yo. Okay. Guacamole, delicious. Grapes. Mmm. Very sweet. Those are delicious, too. I should have cut my tuna sandwich in half because this is going to be hard to do with one hand. <laughs> All right. Let me, let me get a taste of this. All right. I had to get two tastes of that. It's freaking delicious, y'all. That is a dang good tuna sandwich. Yes. Another successful meal from Hungry Root. What do you guys think? Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, guys. Subscribe if you like to watch unboxings. I'll see y'all the next one.